Turning now to the crisis along our southern border, where Border Patrol officials are preparing now for an expected, uh, yet again, another influx of migrants, as a Trump-era policy is set to be lifted by May. We'll take you to border correspondent Jason Jones, live from Roma, Texas. He's embedded with Texas DPS, also has exclusive video from the border as he joins us. Jason. Well, good morning, and I can tell you that surge is underway right now that you just described. Look at this video from Del Rio last night as a Texas Highway Patrolman conducted a routine traffic stop as a direct result of Operation Lone Star, a $1.8 million funded operation. And you're seeing 18 men and women in the back of an 18-wheeler treated as a commodity by these alien smuggling organizations. Guys, it's an example of what we have seen day in, day out down here. Now, last night, we flew with the men and women of DPS's Elite Aircraft Division, uh, Lieutenant Ed Mayfield and Captain David Riggs. And they talked to us about what they're seeing. In one day yesterday, they were involved in four different pursuits because once these folks cross, the alien smuggling groups have to get them into staff houses. But one of the things that I, I really took away from that is when you listen to the law enforcement radios at local, state, and federal levels, and you see how these pilots are going from one agency assist to the next, you realize that this surge of people coming into the United States is definitely underway when we're seeing it down here on the ground right now. Yeah, it's just Back unbelievable to, to see that video there that you just presented us with, too. Again, you may not catch on other networks there. Jason Jones joining us live at the, at the border there. Uh, Jason, good to see you. Be safe. Have a great weekend. Uh, I want to bring our panelists in on this discussion, if we can. Jesse Jane Duff, Vic Bajaj, and Jonathan Gillum. Um, I forget who we left off with, so I'll go with. I'll start with Jonathan Gillum, if we can here. Uh, and just your your reaction here. I mean, when you show this. It's one thing to tell the story, but when you show the video, you actually see it firsthand. Um, and to say a, we've got a crisis, many officials are saying it's going to go beyond what you call a crisis. It would be a disaster. Jonathan. All right. Uh, let's try Jesse Jane Duff. Well, you know, when we were listening to the president speak, he can't understand the distress in this country, and he's not looking at the realities that he has created. Uh, when you look at the border, we know that people are now being able to enter this country without any pushback for COVID restrictions. We know that a lot of the restrictions that the uh, President Trump administration had put in place to ensure that people had to go through Mexico first, everything that they have done, they have worked aggressively against the best interests of American people. When you have people coming, this is not an immigration issue. This is an illegal immigration Im immigration issue. And you have so many people coming over illegally that you cannot vet, often do not appear back in court to ensure that they are receiving the amnesty that they proclaim that they must have. And this impacts Americans, American jobs, it impacts our economies, and it in fact impacts our communities. And the Biden administration has distributed these people all over the nation. So it's going to be mass chaos for us to ever get it back organized and ensure that we are keeping track of those that have entered the country illegally. And, and I think, too, when you just see the images and the video that, that Jason is able to share with our viewers, Vic, the fact that so many individuals are now piled next to each other. This is not a safe way of traveling, as we know. But then think about who that includes. In some cases, Jason has told us about young children who are also being trafficked over the border here. I mean, this is, this is a major concern. And the fact that Title 42 uh, could be coming to an end. How's that going to impact the number of people we see crossing? It's going to increase tremendously. It, it doesn't take a rocket science or a statistician to be able to realize that if you open the floodgates, you're going to have a lot of people coming in. That's not a bad thing. Uh, but as we've just heard, the lack of any screening is a horrible thing. And, and we have start to see pushback from even liberal politicians when the effect of criminality starts to rise its head in their own backyard. Uh, for instance, here in San Diego, California, uh, we have an ability to take in quite a few of these individuals who cross illegally. Uh, there's even legislation by our governor to put them in hotels and pay them monthly stipends, provide them with the luxuries such as cell phones, et cetera. But it's all fun and games until there's a series of burglaries and robberies in some of our most affluent areas here in San Diego. Mm -hmm. Now you have a lot of people saying, boy, maybe this isn't a good idea. 
the long-standing effect is it will create divisiveness and hatred towards a population that really shouldn't have it coming that way. The policy needs to change. I've got final thoughts for Jonathan Gillum. One minute for you here. Look, Title 42 put in place for the pandemic. I get it. Many are saying that it's not necessary because we're coming out of the pandemic. That could be argued. Bottom line, it's still a tool that you could use to somehow at least suppress some of the illegal operations happening at our border, and that is being stripped away. Another tool. Your thoughts? Right. This is what the government does a lot when they play politics is what's effective. They, they're not looking at tactics. They're just looking at politics. And so what you saw in that video that you played was one small place on a border that's over a thousand miles long. And I've been to the border. I've seen the reality of this. About every three feet in some places, you'll see up to 25 backpacks over hundreds and wow. hundreds of miles. The numbers are staggering. And any tactic, technique, or procedure that we can use to stop this influx should not be taken out of place. It should stay there. Uh, and then once the crisis is dealt with, then we can start to determine what is effective and what's not. Yeah, we're going to keep a close eye on this story, a very important one. Panelists, stay with us. Still more to get to.